Hello everyone, my name is Galaxy Cuber, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put any sort of background image, GIF, etc. on CS Timer and just have it as your background. So I did, I'd made a video like this a very long time ago, like maybe two, three years ago, and that video is really outdated. So I thought I'd make a 2020 refresh video, and also because it's quarantine and I'm really bored. So the first thing you want to do is you want to um, open up CS Timer and you want to open up Chrome or whatever web browser you have open and you want to search up any image you want so like since this is obviously rubik's cube related let's just search up um a rubik's cube so just google any image and then just obviously click images i have my cursor uh marked with our red my marker so you know where my marker is where my cursor is and so let's see which video which not video which image should we use? Uh, I like this one. So we have this image of a Rubik's Cube. So then what you want to do is you want to right click and you want to copy image address. It's right here. So there's going to be inspect, search Google for image, and then copy image address. Before we did copy link address, but this time, but now we want to do copy image address. So you just want to click on that. And then you want to go back to CS Timer then you want to go to uh, the options setting, so, and then you want to go to timer. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, display, and you want to. There's one right here, so it says background image right here, below, above timer size one to hundred. You want to click that. I have a so then it should say none right here. So now I just got rid of it because I pressed none. But once you click it again, and you press manual then this will pop up. So right now, this is a GIF to my um, to my previous GIF, but then we're gonna delete that. And then all you wanna do is now just copy, press Control and V, and you should be able to see that, Im that um, URL there that you just um, copied back from the images. So like right here, you just copy, you just copy this image in a URL. Um, but since I clicked out, I'm gonna do it again. And so then all you do is just press Control and V, and then you want to press OK. And now, and then, now we have that exact Rubik's Cube. So, um, now, and you can do the exact same thing, I'm pretty sure, for GIFs. So I'm just going to search up uh, a cat GIF. And so, I think this, uh, the same things apply, so let's just click this one. The sorry cat, so you can obviously see that it's moving. We don't, see, you don't see it. Let's choose a different one. Let's choose this one. Yeah, this one's moving. This one's a lot better. I think the exact same things apply for gifs as well. So we're gonna do the same thing again. Uh, display none, and then manual, and then just control V, and I'm pretty sure it should work again. Yes, it does. So. GIFs and normal images all work. Uh, so now you can have a lot of fun with this. You can like have different images like this cat or like a galaxy like I had before. But you can really mess around with this and really have a lot of fun with this. And uh, yeah, I hope this uh, video helped you helped you out a lot. And if you have any other video ideas or just comment down below any types of videos you'd want to see. And um, if you have a suggestion for a video, leave a comment below. Uh, make sure to like the video if this helped you and yeah, just get creative with this. I really enjoyed this when I figured this out. But anyway, thank you. Thanks for watching and um, comment, like, and subscribe.